Will I be playing Watch Dogs Legion? I think so. But I can't even find the game. Was it on Epic or something? It wasn't on Steam, I think. Oh, it's you play. Ugh. I think I'll skip. I am way too lazy to keep switching like uh, all, all these random things, you know? Uh, what am I farming today? What day is it? It is Thursday. I guess I'll farm artifacts today. Don't need to get this one, I think it was. Yeah. The skill update is badass. Oh, I think I'll play the skill update today. After playing that Ghost Hunter fight last night against the Perry boss, I, I've been feeling that itch. Don't think I've played a game with super tight combat in a while. <clears throat> Actually, that's not true. Ghost of Tsushima was really tight. Did that tingle? Oh my god. Ah, I'm, I'm thinking about it still. Like, I don't know if I want to play it because it's... <clears throat> apparently it's not on uh, anything reasonable. Why does that go like that? It comes out on EGS in six hours or so. Uh, I actually checked the review, Redford, and there was a lot of five and six out of tens. And if a game reviewer gives it a five out of ten, wouldn't gliding be faster? Uh, I don't know, man. Apparently it had a lot of issues for um, the story. It, it wasn't very interesting. Because you play the story of a bunch of random people rather than having one main character or so. Or a plot. Yep, always Maiden's fucking garbage item. <clears throat> Take a 30 26 for the three months, man. You liberate town sectors? Oh no, dudes. 
Yeah, yeah that, that, that's what I was afraid of about the game. Like, you have an open world. There's a bunch of places where you go and you liberate the towns. And uh, then there's a story. And all the game mechanics are shown to you the first two hours of the game. Like, uh, there's like nothing more to it. Yeah, it's just like the typical Ubisoft game. It, it, it's a pretty fun formula to go for like once or twice, but seriously, dude, it, it's been like, what, 15 or something? 20? Like, fuck, man. That tingle. I'm more interested in the skill update than watch the Oh my god, I'm stuck in the fucking thing. Jesus. Don't be mistaken by my damage output here. This dungeon has 75% more physical damage. It's not this high normally. Always maidens. Hello. What was the other one though? It was like uh, tiny lucky earrings or whatever it was called. Which one was it? I go past it. Fuck. No. What was this one? What the fuck is this garbage? There's a new game on top set on Steam. Action RPG Chinese History. Xuan Yuan Sword 7. Is it... Well, why is there 7 behind it? Are there 6 other games of the same? Oh my god! I looked away for like one second and now something's fucking teasing me. No rest for the wicked. I don't know if I like uh Chinese action RPGs. I've tried them before and they're always so the red numbers heavy. And there's usually not so much about skill but much more about uh getting the biggest possible number. It's exponentially gross. Yourself. 
Holy fuck! Oh, I have no stamina. Descend. What the oh, fuck? Just fucking one tap to out of stealth. What the fuck? What the, what the fuck, dude? I've never seen his attack before. Holy shit, what? I didn't know he could do that. Fucking homie slash. This guy usually dies so fast you don't get to see his moveset. Oh, we'll be right back. I hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. I hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication. I hear the voice of fate, speaking my name in humble supplication.
I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. Yep, FBI. I'll play Watch Dogs when it comes out on Epic. I I'm not really in a rush to play it. Oh, I got a, oh, I got a five-star one. It better be good. Oh, I read that retone. It what? Bro, why can I get these points of Gladiator? What the fuck? Oh, I get this on my fucking support? Da, da, da. I am safe, Kaku. Are you safe? You right. Now oh, this goes to Venti, man. Yeah, this definitely goes to Venti. Like, why, why is this Electro Damage? Like, what's the point? Why did they put Electro Damage on the fucking wind set? Why could it be like this? No one asked. Let me see. I wonder if I have four pieces by now. Because I have been farming this dungeon, like, for three different days now. Uh... I have three parts. I need one more. I mean, it, it, it's okay. Like, I'm only using it for the set bonus anyway. Which is why it's so sad that the helmet spawned with insane substats. Oh, yeah, I couldn't use it on DPS. You're right. But then the other two, the other four parts have to match perfectly. It's um, a bit of a harder thing to do, but still, it's doable, yeah. You're completely right. Man, you big forehead. Which also means I have to find another part for Venti then. Because I'm pretty sure that... Grid rate is better than whatever else you can get on that slot. Like, wh what slot was that even? Helmet, I think? Yeah. I, I think like the 40% kill rate, whatever this is going to be, is going to be better than the damage, the 40% attack. Well, that's a pretty good drop. First good drop I've had so far in the game. Huh, another, <laughs> another test subject. Did that tingle? None of them picked the right test subject. Feels bad, man. Probably Asian parents. Over here. You. Her, her. Let's play. 
Yeah, yeah. Wow. Maidens. What was it called? Fleeting Lair. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Fucking piece of shit, man. Let's see. M maybe it's not bad, though. I didn't check what part it was. Maybe it has, like, mega stats. Fucking piece of shit. is a game with this game but that's not a bad thing a lot of games have this type of rng Ac action rpg games in, in particular have insane rng in this way it's more just you don't get many opportunities to uh find replacements that's the real problem Or you just get lucky, yeah. yeah that's that's easy too. If you just get lucky, nothing nothing really matters. Uh, you could just get seven deluxe in your first ten pulls too. Yeah, just just get lucky. Oh my god, I missed. I don't know what my character is shooting. I, I I think it's the the fucking flies in the sky, and it's just missing with me. She can't move! <laughs> she can't move! Her ulti doesn't work when there's a uh, venti ulti going on. That's good to know. Maybe it's because she's flying when she does it. And flying mobs always get kind of uh, like knocked away. Like Rito for the 50 bits and Riff for the 32 months, man. Good vibes, Pogu. How is it so hard to get the Venti set? How many chances do I have left? One! I cannot quite Asian boy for the 34 months, man. I guess it's Ben and Chong Yun as support. I don't know who Chong Yun is. Oh wait, I think I think I know. It's the Great Sword Chota boy, isn't it? Uh, I think Kaya is like one of the worst characters in the whole game, but you have no choice because he's the only Ice character you get. So what can you do, right? The game no bitching or something like that. Did that tingle? Brace yourself. 
Whoa, 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 I didn't see what hit me. It was, it's my last try for the day. Fucking piece of shit, man. A actual piece of shit. Come on, man. The fuck is this? Go up mode? What the fuck? Interacting with other people? That's way too scared for me, dog. Oh, that is one of the best ones I've ever seen too, yeah. That helmet is just... I wonder if I can switch it out for official, actually, without ruining any uh, substats. Any bonuses, I mean. It would be this one. Which is also not terrible. But I only have one gladiators, I see here. The other are berserkers. But I have gladiator stuff here. They're just trash. I have one on Razor. I could sw swap that one out. I have no good feathers. Yeah, if I swap out this one. Or this. And then Razor. Is missing. Oh, he doesn't even use it. Was it this one? Yeah. He was just using as a as a fifth set or like a single part. Oh wait, no, he does. Oh no, he does. He does have a gladiator part here. Uh, I guess I'll... No, I'm not upgrading this garbage, that's for sure. That's some, that's some garbage shit right there, Jesus Christ. Then I can swap out this one... With this, and keep both my set bonuses. And this, this is some shit, man. What the fuck?
Give the helmet to Rezu instead. What was Rezu using? Hmm. Now we pray. There's a chance that it gets a shitty sub defense uh, stat here. And then it upgrades it multiple times. That's the worst case scenario. Anything else, it upgrades crit damage or attack percentage bonus. That, that would be the best. And I think I can still get crit rate on this too. And that would be the absolute best. I'm scared. You can't get two lines of crit? Oh, shit. Oh, whatever. Just don't upgrade. Oh, elemental! Oh, bruh! Fuck, three star garbage. Oh, bruh. Attack went up, doubled! Oh! Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming right now. I'm fucking coming. It went up again! Oh, I'm coming! Oh, you bleed! Oh, no, you suck! Oh, bleed! Crit rate! It's going to go to 40%, I guess? No, no, it's not going to hit 40. It's going to be... 30-ish, I guess? 34 is max. Okay. Oh, bled. Don't upgrade Elemental. Don't upgrade Elemental, bled. Piece of shit. Oh my god, it's getting so expensive. I don't have enough? But oh my god, this thing is insane. This thing is absolutely insane. Like this... This is what I need five pieces of. Like these stats, basically. Love you, Xing Xing. So my attack went down by a little bit, but my crit rate just went up. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Dude, but my crit damage is so low. Oh, I need way more crit damage now. Oh, I, c I can use purple trash, you're right. Oh, oops. Uh, <laughs> garbage found. Huh? Please, please get damage, please. Please. <laughs> so it has one upgrade that was bad. And that was the elemental mastery. But it's not even that bad. It's just not perfect. Show this to Mahmoud? I can't. 
If I show this to Mahmoud and he kills himself, it's on my conscience. Can't do it. It would make me a murderer. How the fuck? I I'm farming a set for Venti of any part, any stats. Just so I can get the set bonus. I end up getting one of the best DPS items that you can ever get in the game. What the, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Mahmoud said crit is not good. Well, he's wrong. But it also depends. It depends on how much you have before. Because I think there's a soft cap on crit in this game. What the fuck? What? Uh, what? Oh, every hit is a crit. Oh. Oh my god, everyone has shields. Kaylee's soft cap is removed? Oh, then it's insane. There is almost no reason to get not get 100 then. <laughs> Mahmoud is here? You wanna see my artifact, man? Oh, look at this, Mahmoud. Look at this dude. Look at this thing. It's actually the best in slot damage artifact. It's only missing one upgrade. And that was the elemental mastery upgrade. Sadly it doubled that instead of uh, any of the other three. Oh. Element is better than flat? I am not sure, but I, I guess if people did the math behind it, then they must be right. Like what? Like just look at this dude. 17% attack. It, it, like how much does a normal artifact give at this level? 34 max? This thing is fucking 7% on the substat. What the fuck? Oh fuck, what's up? Looking below. I missed. Nice, GG. Is Mahmoud writing his letter now? I need to get crit damage on my other artifacts now. It's the most important one. Not like I, I can control it, but... You know. There's gonna be a point where I'm gonna be capped with all the stuff I need. And then crit damage is... Motherfucker. And crit damage is gonna be the one I need. <clears throat> How can crit rate suck? Motherfucker, please.
Uh, has he ever played any action RPG at all? Like any or action RPG, crit damage is always the fucking top tier builds of anything. Uh, it doesn't matter what game you're playing. Whether it's like Diablo, Path of Exile, or fucking Genshin Impact. It's just such an insane multiplier. Where is this? <laughs> this is a weird commission. Makes me go around all over the world. <clears throat> You need crit rate subs on weapon? It just happens that I have a 5 star weapon that gives crit rate too. And I suspect this might be one of the best bows in the game. Fuck, which way am I supposed to go? And the nice thing about that weapon, uh, uh, that helmet, is that I can change it to any other DPS too. Because like all these stats that uh, is used to this, it's just good on anything. Like it's not stuck on Fischl, for example. The bow is stuck on Fischl though, unless there's a new archer coming out. And my overall crit rate is like 70 now, was it? Yeah, it was something like insane, dude. 70.5%. What the fuck? What I need now is just like... Percentage crit damage as subsets and all of my other things. 20% each! Get yeah, another 80% crit damage just from substats on the other four things. And my crit multiply is still low, but I haven't really done artifact hunting until now. So I've w I was waiting for um, the 5 stars to drop. I didn't want to invest more into the, the shittier ones. Now, I figured Fisher was one of the better bow DPS right now too. Maybe Venti is okay too if you have the constellations. But yeah, you know, Venti constellations are just a little bit pricey. A little bit. Actually, I haven't checked what they were. This one's garbage. But oh, this one could be okay, actually. Whatever for DPS. Whatever. Nah, official's better. There's not. That's nothing here for all the attack damage. But I also suspect that physical damage is not great in late game. Because the way the game is scaling right now is that you're not keeping up with enemies. So I think you might have to uh, do something else. But still though, um, physical damage builds are really nice for clearing the world and doing shit like this. Because you don't need much more power just to kill them fast. It, is, it feels like a world level back again. That's how fast they're dying. I mean, the idea for me now is... um Using Fisher as main DPS until I get a new character that... Can become the next main DPS. And then Fisher can easily transition to uh, support. Because all of her skills are good for support. All of her uh, constellations, I mean. 
Like my best DPS character right now is dog. And I, I don't like that dog. I don't think Razor is good. I think Razor is uh, the noob trap. Like, he seems really good initially because he's just there with an ulti that does high damage. But then you realize that you cannot swap out characters when you use him. So you're, you're every, every time you put him out, you're stuck. Like, you're stuck on him. Baidu is better. You don't have to swap them out? That's what you think now though. Like these mobs are they're scaling way more than you can keep up with in, in terms of upgrades. I think at some point you, you need to have the perfect elemental reactions to kill them fast. And physical damage is just not good enough. That's why I'm hoping that eventually I'm gonna pull some some DPS character that doesn't need too many constellations. Uh, oh yeah, I was looking at this. Luckily, sending out Baidu for mining for 20 hours counts for this too. Keep going, master. Cash money, baby. I have some holes. I have... <laughs> yeah, come on, man. I'm just gonna wait for 10. Yeah, you don't have to be that desperate for wolves. I'm just gonna wait, man. I don't know if I want Clay. On one hand, she's really nice to have because it's a fire character and double fire gives 25% attack. And then she's also a caster, which uses books and with the book you can give her the Dragon Tails one. It gives the bonus attack on swap. Which is really nice. Because now when I use double fire character, I can't fit in the book because the last slot is used for Venti. And the other two fire characters don't use books. I don't try my damage on this dog. It's same as Razor, you can't swap them out. Yeah, that sucks too. And my pity pull is soon too. Another like 30 or so pulls and then I have it. So I, I think I'll save it for a different character. Like the main thing about Clay that I liked was that she does fire damage on auto attack. So you can block reactions easily. But yeah, it might not be worth it. The pity doesn't work on a different banner? I think it works in all character banners, doesn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. Yep, it feels like it's one wall devil back again. I'm not getting Constellation 4 play, dude. There's no way. <laughs> like, like, a C456 clay? Like, how much money are you looking at there? 2,000? There's stone gates here.
2,000 might not even be enough. Oh, no, no, it is enough. It is enough. I was thinking about Mahmoud's Deluxe. But... You know actually how dumb it is that he pulled four Deluxe on a non-Deluxe banner? Like, what the fuck? If you're gonna pull for a specific character, you have to wait for the banner, right? Unless you just have infinite money. I mean, if you're some oiler, then it's whatever, you know, 10k. Maybe something you make in a day or something, it's whatever then. <laughs> oh, he did reroll for free. He got the look on a free account. But the problem is that he already spent on his main account, so he couldn't just swap it out. You know? <laughs> chest? I didn't see the chest. I was reading chat. Uh, let me look. <laughs> Next to the event is... <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus, I thought it was a crate. Free! Alright, I'll do a mini boss one for the day. I'm running low on mats. Back to Dr. Kalu for the 4. Killing me TV with the 30. Neku 104 for the 81 months. Aussie Dodo for the 32. Marlis Games for the 7. Sereja Loshto for the 2. And Little Fan for the 4, man. That's a couple banners coming out after Clay. Are you fucking. Every time I come here. Uh, there's like four new characters coming or something. Oh my god, combat started. Man. Oh, the other one did aggro. Every hit is a crit. obvious ways for me to increase my damage now. One is to replace my gladiator parts with the bloodstained ones. <laughs> and get 25% physical damage instead of 80% attack. And then reroll all my substats to um... Crit damage. A fuck ton of crit damage. Now the two-piece bloodstain is good, but I also think it's a trap. Because there's no way physical damage skills are uh, as good as elemental damage. I don't think dropping berserkers is worth it. It's hard to be 12% kit rate on the set bonus. Because you're looking at 18% attack or 12% kit rate. So I, I think berserkers might be better. But the problem with berserkers is that... It's a fucking four star item. I haven't seen a single part, single five star berserker part yet. <laughs> it can't roll five. Yeah, that's what I thought because I don't, I haven't seen one yet. That's why you might have to swap over to something else eventually. But it, it's a good placeholder though until you get something perfect.
<laughs> As I say that, I find another berserkers. I read the new solo leveling arc, uh, chapter. Very short. And nothing happened, sadly. <clears throat> There's no diminishing returns on attack stats, man. No rest for the wicked. Not as far as I know, at least. That wasn't on a major somewhere. Oh, it was the other way. Fuck. Oh, oh my god. I'm too lazy to do the math behind it. To uh, find out when crit becomes just better than attack. Because I think attack is better up until a certain point and then crit takes over like crazy. Formula for damage is kind of weird in this game. Holy fuck, this is Did math on artifact with the same rarity difference crit and attack crit is better very slightly. Hmm. Okay. Race you. Boba, get right now it's not that important to know anyway. Because you can't optimize your gear. You're limited by uh, resin. So most people are just using what they can get, rather than farming the perfect substats. So it, it's really not that big of a deal yet. I just got lucky. You know, sometimes you just pull once and you get uh, two 5 star bows or two 5 star weapons. That's not another resin problem. That was the main resin problem to begin with. One of the things about this game is that you don't actually get enough stuff that goes up with the world level and your adventurer rank. Like, you cannot keep up with levels and other characters and items and talents and everything. Either adventure rank levels up way too fast or you just get way too little of everything else. Or both. This is not enough stuff. I suppose it's on purpose. Like, it's just to make people buy bell pass and stuff where you get more stuff. More shit. Oh man, I hate these guys. I, I don't think it's for stalling content. If they wanted to stall content, they would have also made adventure rank XP uh, much worse. All the gains from boxes and uh, commissions and everything. Oh. A level 4 horn for the first time. I bought the battle pass. I kind of regret it though. It's not a, not a great battle pass.
the upping the resin cap to 160 next update. I mean, doesn't that just sound so stupid to you? Isn't that just that analogy that people always use? I'm thirsty, and then they give you a bigger cup, not more water. Oh, well, at least I'll just have to log in once a day. <laughs> you got that going. Nice, people play the game even less. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and they'll do anything to make people play the game less. Jesus Christ. Why do they hate their game so much? <laughs> it feels like I went back two world levels. Fall. No, I have to knock him off. I'm not going up there. No, wait, that's above, isn't it? Have I tapped the crown trick? I haven't heard of it. I gotta love the 17 XP from Monster 2, man. Actually, I leveled up from, from uh, 79 to 80 for Monster XP at the last 10%. <laughs> I don't know how much billions I needed, but somehow I got it. <laughs> the fuck? Are these guys even monsters? They domesticated the pig! Are we the bad guys? I summon thee. It's always us, man. <laughs> I didn't finish the Abyss. I got stuck on the Americans and I stopped trying there. But I can... I, I could have probably done it way before even. I should do it though, because I, I think I can do the Kroon floor and the next one. I'm strong enough for it. But yeah, 11 and 12, that, that's some shit, man. Yeah. 11 is easier than 10? I haven't tried 10 yet. I'm just saying that I can't do 10 because I did 9 already uh, in the previous world level. That's why I think it's doable. At the end of the day, the game is just foreplay for the Genshine Impact and spread it. Or play? What the fuck? It means people jerking to 2D pictures. Let's begin. 
Yeah, Abyss doesn't scale with world level, but that's exactly what I mean. Like, if I could do it at the previous world level, then it's only gonna be easier from now. I, I, these Americans are insane! I don't even need these mats. It needs two strong heaters because of the fire debuffs. Oh! But fire debuffs are easy, right? You just uh, make yourself wet. What the fuck? Can you abuse? Nope, you cannot abuse. Or you could spam jump attack there. Isn't that just the attack from the Dark Souls zombies? When they go ham with the torch? I have to level up uh, my other wind character too. Well, I have a lot of things I need to level up. Nope! Oh my, this is such a fucking mess! Don't get the chill though, I'll fucking kill you twice. Two artifacts though. I hate this place too. death and HP 5 star items so I call my Barbara Beefcake Barb. Also I let the Hill Brothers oh, that nap the under the tree puzzle, survive. Yeah. Ah, whatever. There is a really good purpose though for the uh, shitty 5 star artifacts. They use them to make other artifacts better. Like sometimes you just get an artifact that looks good. And it gets bricked by shitty substats. At least you get 90% of the XP back.
You get most Mora back as well? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they destroyed you, Mora. That's why I've been avoiding using uh, crappy artifacts. Didn't even look at it. I just know you get like 90% of the XP back or so. Still though, 10% loss is quite a lot for a game where you're constantly starved for everything. You get the XP back by just uh, re-consuming it for a different item. Was it 80%? Oh shit, I thought it was 90. Razor's still my second DPS, but he hasn't been upgraded in a while. Level 65 still. Um, next boss. I, I really hope 1.1 is gonna be good for this game. It might fucking kill like half the player base if it's not good. Scary, man. Scary. It's not the minor quality of life improvements. It's like new regions, new stuff. And hopefully they rebalance some stuff too. Oh, actually they don't do balance patches in these games, do they? Too much backlash. And did you see the latest numbers of how much money they made? 250 million since the release. 250 million! I, like, why am I even a fucking streamer, man? I should just become a game developer. You just pump out, like, 10 mobile phone games a year. One of them catches on, you just become a millionaire overnight. What the fuck am I doing with my life? Phasmophobia developer is close to being a millionaire too now, yeah. Just from uh, that one, that one release he got. Wow, a laser! Actually, not bad DPS on this guy, by the way. I only had the resources to upgrade the razor. Yeah, if only, man. If only. I mean, he would be really good if I had the bloodstained two piece set on him. 
And also like one of these kit helmets for him. Or any, any quit part basically. Fuck, is this the right way? It is. He's better a four piece gladiator, is he? Let me check. Uh, what do I even check here? Four piece gladiator gives 35% more attack and 18% attack on two piece. And I'm guessing it just both stacks too. Like it's 18 plus 35 and not just goes to 35. And bloodstain is something I don't have, I think. Do I? I do. 25% and the four piece is complete garbage. Well, it's actually good for clearing domains, but it's bad overall, I think. Oh, okay, yeah. The gladiator one is way better. You would need two more gladiator parts, so I actually might have them even. I definitely have one here, but I don't want to upgrade this garbage. Oh my goodness, that looks bad. <laughs> actually, I have this one that gives electro damage, but everything else is kind of kind of crap. Yeah. Not gonna bother until I get better substats for gladiator parts. He's a secondary DPS anyway, so I don't give a fuck what happens to him. Oh, I'm look. I'm not waiting for the perfect artifacts. I'm just waiting for good enough. Holy fucking shit! I was just gonna ulti on the iframe here. He lost the ulti because he died! Oh, GG. GG, we lost. Yeah, GG. Almost ruined by Venti dying. I don't have the Animo artifact yet on Venti. I was farming for it and ended up with a better damage item for Fischl. How the fuck did that happen? Hmm. Guess I clear the ley lines too. Might as well. I think I need 20 clears for the uh, battle pass, but I can't claim rewards, so I can get like 4 a day from without claiming it.
Damage for Venti is actually not bad. I guess so. I guess Alti does a lot of damage, but I'm not sure how it skills. I think it's level plus elemental mastery, but his attack might also come into play a bit. It's just kind of vague like that in this game. They don't really tell you how things skill. You have to look it up or test. Fuck, huh. oh, there was a chest? I was looking. Look at that sneaky box. A oh, ghost. Far away from the ley line, man. Don't do it. Oh, it's just here. Five star artifacts. Close. What was that? Flower? What the f- Jesus! I'm at venture rank 40. Suicidal bastards. Oh, Venti ulti. So all the items stay together. Don't even care about the damage. Oh, 
Look at that. I think some.